on February 19th, 1972, 52 years ago today, the American jazz trumpeter Edward Lee Morgan was shot and killed by his common-law wife, Helen Moore, during a gig at a jazz club in New York City called Slug's Saloon. Lee Morgan was 33 years old at the time of his death. The episode was a virtual replay of the shooting of Alan Britt by Frankie Morgan in St. Louis, Missouri in 1899, a shooting that inspired the song Frankie and Johnny. Edward Lee Morgan was born in Philadelphia on July 10, 1938. He received his first trumpet as a 13th birthday present from his older sister, Ernestine. The kid learned really fast, because at the age of 18, he joined Dizzy Gillespie's big band and began making recordings under his own name. Soon after joining Gillespie's outfit, the band played a gig at the famed New York jazz club Birdland. That was when and where the celebrated jazz critic Nat Hentoff had the following experience, quote, Every listener to jazz has had a few experiences so startling that they are literally unforgettable. One of mine took place during an engagement the Dizzy Gillespie Big Band had at Birdland. My back was turned to the bandstand as the band started to play Night in Tunisia. Suddenly, a trumpet soared out of the band into a break that was so vividly brilliant and electrifying that all conversation in the room stopped. I turned and saw that the trumpeter was the very young sideman from Philadelphia, Lee Morgan. Yes, indeed, Lee Morgan could play, and he seems to have played and recorded with everyone who was anyone on the jazz scene in the late 1950s and 1960s. Unfortunately, in living the life, Morgan succumbed to that most pernicious element of the life, heroin addiction. It was during the worst days of his addiction, in 1962, that he met and fell in love with a woman 12 years his senior named Helen Moore. Helen helped Lee Morgan get off of heroin and became his lover and his manager. She restored his career and was his constant companion until, after 10 years, he became, according to Helen, distant and distracted. Helen suspected that Lee was seeing a younger woman, which indeed he was. Helen Moore and Lee Morgan's relationship ended poorly. To find out precisely what happened between Lee and Helen, to say nothing for Frankie and Johnny, join me for my Music History Monday podcast which can be accessed on all podcast platforms, or enjoy the illustrated full-text ad-free version of this blog and much more on my Patreon channel.